Yo, what is the deal? This is your man Frank Dutch right here. I'm back at y'all with another video, man. And today, as you can see, we are working with the machine, man. Now, I want to show y'all how to actually pull up. Um, so say basically this. Say like you have a mood grandmother, for an example, that I'm, I'm going to be using in this example. Or if you have like a, a Triton or some other sort of um, external MIDI device and you want to use it with the machine. And you want to also be able to disconnect the MIDI device and pull it up later in, in another space, like where you don't have the Triton or the Moog Grandmother. You want to be able to get the sounds from whatever that device is into the machine and into that sequence. I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. So basically what you do is say we got this beat right here, right? Oh, 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 oh. Whoop. Yeah. Oh. So say like we got that, right? And we wanna add we wanna add some sounds from the move. Alright. This is what we do. First, we're gonna go to the empty um pad or whatever. Then we're gonna go to this micro section over here. You know what I'm saying? Now, once we do that, we wanna go make sure we on sound and we wanna go to MIDI. Now we wanna change that to whatever your device is it should it may um come up or it may not um if you have it connected via usb in my situation i have the uh mood grandmother midi to the complete control um so what i'll do is i'll set it to the complete control and i'll set it on the second uh midi uh import so now when i hit the keys on my complete control it's controlling it, you know what I mean? Now, I wanna add something to that. So, let's do it. All right, so say that's what we wanted, right? Say that that's what we wanted. Now, at this point, if we turn off the uh, the, the machine and, and the mood, we can save the project. We can save the project on the machine. But if we, say, like, do another beat and we want to uh, change some settings or whatever, as soon as we change those settings and try to bring that beat up, this beat up right here, it's going to play whatever sound you have set on that. You know what I mean? And you're going to have to redo the parameters and all of that. And it's a pain in the ass if you're working with a Moog. You know what I'm saying? So you want to get this into the machine. You want to get that sequence that you did, the sounds, into the machine. So this is how you do it. We're going to go to an empty pad. And then we're going to go to sampling, right? I'm going to set the, uh, the input on mono, as you can see down in the bottom here. And I am going to go to the input that has my um, my move. All right, there we go. All right, so we got it in there. Now, we know that this is a four-bar loop. We set it to loop. Everything stays the same like that. Pay attention down here. This is where you want to be at. You want to set the mode to loop. You want to set the uh, the the uh, length to whatever the you know however long you play, and um, you can leave everything else the same. Um, if it's a mono instrument, make sure you record in mono. Or you're gonna hear it on the one side. Select your input, and hit start. Hit shift record, so it'll count off. Go. A. A. Oh, oh, all right. And then you stop it, and as you can see, you got your you got your your loop right here. And the beautiful thing about it, though, see now, I don't you I don't have to replay it or nothing. What I can do is, I can simply just go to my keyboard section and delete that whole part, and guess what? It's still there because it's playing from right here. Hey, oh. Oh, oh, now you might be thinking like, okay, 
what if I want to uh, speed that up? Like, okay, I, I, I committed myself to that loop right there. Now I want to speed it up. I may want to slow it down. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, man. Thank y'all for watching this video right here, man. Y'all be cool. How y'all be cool. Stay tuned for more, man. Follow the gaming channel, too, man. I'm going to have that link down in the description, too, man. We out of here. Peace.